Kanga Bee and the Blind beautifully animated, very educational, and definitely encouraging creativity. This is the latest play date with Winnie the Pooh, and I absolutely adored it. It starts off with Pooh Bear, Bee, and Kanga sitting on some cushions, and Kanga has a blank book, and she explains that they're going to create their own story. And she sings this song about a story having a beginning, middle, and end, definitely very educational there, and then... Pooh Bear and Bee join in and they start singing about the different kinds of songs that they want to sing and Pooh Bear in his little wizard hat is the cutest thing ever and the animation is really fun and creative, visually very engaging and if it encourages even one child to write their own story or draw their own story if they wish, that's absolutely fantastic. I grew up obsessing over writing stories. It, it bodes well that I'm an author today but I loved learning about beginning, middle, and ends. I loved analysing texts to identify the beginning, middle, and ends. I have fond memories of doing that, and I think children will be able to relate to that aspect. Even if they're not that keen on the learning aspect, I think they'll enjoy the creativity part of it. And of course, not every story needs to be written down as well. If a child watches this then wants to tell their own story and create it as they go, that's great as well. Throw in some beautiful, creative animation, some great opportunities for learning and encouragement for creativity. I don't want anything else. Playdate with Winnie the Pooh is a beautiful series and it's episodes like Kanga Bee and the Blank Book that make me so thankful it exists. It's so charming and definitely worth watching.